Of breaking news in Cleveland's east side, where two were shot. Late breaking news tonight from our area: six were shot were at a liquor dead store. In this the body is that me. of a woman, but police say it was so badly decomposed Sharks that they aren't able to tell the age or the race. Shot on the east side of Cleveland, our one of them has died. On the this happened now. on Cleveland's east side at Olympia Avenue. Every morning, got even basketball in the hallways. Come to class basketball. Nobody got to work. Can't about to drop 30. And it's hurts. Where I came from, like, I'm actually doing something with this basketball stuff. Like, because I came from, a, like, like my group of friends where I lived. None of them, like, none of us hoop. Like, or none of them hoop. No more. So I try to keep, like, everything, like, just, just be humble. Remember where I come from. Right to attack, we was down two. I feel like it was a taste composure and like a test of teamwork and like being together. So I feel like we had to come together to actually win this game, to pull this game out. Nobody had their head down. We all was with each other, all trusting each other. Born on the Senate, you guys had that close one with Menor a week ago. What do you take from this? Uh, when the opportunity comes, make the most of it. Play your heart out. Menor, we came short. This is Ken Giles, a.k.a. K-Bucks, class of 2024, and I go to James Royal Rose High School, and you're watching episode two of Front of Bottom. Nah, 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 I ain't gotta do it. Like, <laughs> hey, wow, yeah. since the first episode. Since the first one, man. Ken got some BC, you feel me? Bruh, two cameras. <laughs> That's fire. That's, <laughs> That's I, fire. We gotta have one, one up in the stands, one on the floor. One, we could, bro, we could really do something. How it all started, it all started from going to Lottie Burton. I think having a basketball court out right outside my house, that's where it all started then. I had a, I had an AAU tryout with the Rebels. Uh, what keeps me motivated? I would say the people around me, my family members, and like just like where I come from for real. Just having, like just knowing that I came from nothing for real, it keeps me motivated to keep going. I try to keep myself like, like stay away from all the like hype music. I believe like I listen to a lot of calm music. Like and like for me, it helped calm my nerves and like like just be calm throughout the day. So it just keep me like focused and locked in. So I would say calm music is probably the one thing that I use mentally. Stay humble, and is that important to you? It is important to me, cause like I got, I got little freshmen and sophomores watching me right now, so I don't want them to ever get big headed, cause anything can happen. And what I do, like I just don't pay attention to it, like not as much. Like I don't be on Instagram as much. I just be hooping, like at school. I really, I really don't have time to look at my phone as much. I, I feel like I'll be happy though, like just knowing where I came from. You stalling. You stalling. talk a lot I have a lot of footage of you talking on the sidelines uh, where does that come from just the way you you talk to your team on the court even when you're not playing I really did get that from WAP all right let's get into an uplifting story here now about overcoming obstacles to follow your dreams uh, Cleveland school student just became the very first CMSD basketball players in six years to commit to a division one school sports anchor John Doss now introduces us to our student athlete of the week Jamal Sumlin probably wasn't supposed to be here. A lot of people rock up from there and make it out, so y'all gave me the talent to make it come out the hood and go far away. 
and Jamal is going far. All the way to Texas, the Rhodes senior accepting a scholarship to play basketball at the University of Texas, El Paso. My family pushed me the most, told me I should keep hooping and try to go far with it, take it somewhere to get my mom off the hood. Changed his life forever. Like, just seeing how, like, I like how intimate he is, like, with the game of basketball and just, like, with his, like, younger peers and all that. Like, it just made me, like, it, like, fueled me a little bit. Like, just seeing it and how people react to it. Like, knowing that your leader is on your side and, like, he has your back and, like, he's pushing you, he's cheering for you and, like, like just complimenting on your game, giving you criticism. Like, knowing that you got somebody on the sideline that's going to talk to you, I believe, like, it's a lot. Because, like, when we had that last year, it fueled us, so I would like, I just want to give back like what I got. So how, how do you feel like how do you feel like you played today? How I played today. Yeah. Yeah, it's going. I played I, I played cool today. I didn't play as a team. I got everybody involved. I played as a veteran. Feel me? I got mine just when I need it. Still gotta rep the legacy, you feel me? I only one. I only one, you feel me? Hold on, I'm gonna send him this clip. It's good, ain't it though? <laughs> oh. I ain't miss. Good <laughs> Say about those guys coming up and your role uh, as a leader to them. 
I know they watching me, so I try to make sure I carry myself, like, head up and everything. Like, I try to make sure even if things is bad, I keep my head on strong, like, try not to ever, like, lose control or anything to show them, like, like being a, like your character is what takes you far in life. And just being a good person, a good man, like, it can take you way farther than the basketball things can. So I try to make sure I'm a leader to them and I just, like, lead by example, show them the, show them the rules and let them know, like, it's more here than it is outside. Like, just stay in the gym, like, st keep working. And the thing is, them boys hungry, and I just, like, respect that about them. So it just make me want to do more, like, just being a leader, seeing them want to actually work hard and, like, go far with basketball. Like, just knowing their future, it make me want to go harder and, like, want to lead by more of that. Classic lays, water. All right. Hey, hey. You see him? He might look cocky. He might best two hundred. But let me tell you, sweetheart. All right. Jump roping is a full body workout. You use every, you use every part of your body when you're jump roping. You feel it everywhere. So I try to get my body like, like get my, get the bones, like get everything running. Like get my adrenaline running, get like, get a sweaty in before I even step out there on the court.
I want to go to college. I want to go pro. Like, throughout my college years, I want to be able to make bonds and, like, just try to get into, like, the sport world. Like, I don't, if I don't make it pro, I want to stick, like, stay in basketball, be a, maybe be a sports analyst, but I want to stay, like, evolve with basketball. Like, even, like, become a coach or anything, like, I want to be able to help the youth. So anything I do, I want to be able to make money and, like, provide for the next generation.
here I am in this position today. So never forget that, man. Take every opportunity, man. This is a valuable learning opportunity. Like the sacrifices my family made, like for me to play basketball, like even like the high school level, AAU programs and all that. Like my mom sacrificed so much. And it's like I want to make it for my family. Like I don't, I don't work, so it's like, like they do so much for me. They provide everything for me to hoop. So just playing for them, I know like I have to play with everything I got. What? If y'all don't like and subscribe to this man right here, you gotta be money. I ain't gonna lie. Smash that like button.